All right, this is the review for the Astro Command Center software. I know this at least works for the Generation 3 and Generation 4 Astro A50. I believe it works for their wired headsets as well. I don't know that for sure, of course, because I don't own those, but I believe this is just what they use for everything now. It's pretty simple. Uh, it is a Windows native app. I don't know, since there seems to be a little bit of backing off of that, I don't know if that's gonna continue to be the case. But I do like that it auto updates if it's a Windows native app like that, a Windows 10 native app that you get from the store down here. So, you know, take that as you will. I'll go through all the settings here. Here's the equalizer presets. Uh, these are the ones that come with it. You can actually also save some and then import them again later. Oh, and just as a quick note, I am recording this on the Astro A50 headset microphone, the Gen 3 headset microphone. So I really like this ultimate preset. Came from another YouTuber. Um, I honestly don't remember his name. So, but these are the settings. I really like how it sounds more than default settings. So you may want to pause the video and copy some of these. Set up. So it's got a lot of options for equalizer. I really like that. Plus, it syncs it to the device. The advantage of that, of course, is that. You know, if you reformat your computer, for example, your settings aren't lost. They're saved to the headset. You could take the headset to a new computer if you want, and they're still there. Uh, you could take the headset and plug it into an Xbox, and the equalizer settings will still be there. So really nice. There's a switch to go between these three settings, which is awesome. So I, I really like the equalizer settings on this. There might be more powerful ones out there, but this is probably one of the more powerful ones I've seen for a gaming headset, at least, especially wireless. Microphone settings, uh, noise gate, this is about how, um, what the threshold is you want on the noise cancellation. This can create things that, you know, sounds a little quiet or choppy, um, depending on the headset. For me, I played around with this. I just used the Windows voice recorder and kept messing with these. For me, home sounded the best to me. That's going to be personal preference and how loud your environment is. So look through here. Um, I think streaming is probably the least inhibited on the noise gate. So that'll probably be the most clear sounding um, to your audience, etc. If you're in a noisy location like I am a lot of the time, home is probably better or maybe even tournament if it's really crazy. <laughs> uh, mic equalizer. This again is personal preference. It's how you like your voice to sound. I prefer the warm setting. Go ahead and do whatever you want there. That's that's totally personal preference. Uh, but they do sound different, so mess with it and, and see what you like. USB mic level, um, I prefer this on the top, and then I adjust it in individual games or, or like Discord if I need to. Just set that up how, how you will. Side tone is really nice. This lets you see, hear your own voice in the microphone. Uh, most headsets have this, but I do like that it has a volume control for it. Well, I should say most gaming headsets have this now, but uh, that actually wasn't the case a few years ago. So I like that they've added all this. Um, all right, so this is the stream port. This is the auxiliary jack on there. I think this also affects the virtual line out device. Uh, if we go here to the Windows devices, and, and this hopefully also explains how this works. So this it's plugged in via USB and it creates two devices, a game device that you're supposed to do as your default sound device, and then a voice device, which is like your voice chat. Uh, the cool part about this is when we go to settings here, you can balance between voice and game. So as you go closer to voice, this device gets louder and this one gets quieter. And the opposite is also true. Very cool. Um, the recording settings, it also creates a voice device for the microphone. It has, actually also creates this game line device, a virtual device. That's kind of cool if you need to listen to some things, um, uh, pipe in, you know, like an example of this would be, let's say game is your default device, but you also have some speakers that you want to use. What you could do is uh, go into properties and listen to this device and click apply. And then, oh, uh, sorry, I was a little ahead of myself there. Listen to this device and then pipe it out to your, you know, speakers there. See that? So you could actually hear the same thing in your headset and on your speakers at the same time. Um, I've got mine set up a little bit differently with just pass-through optical, which it also does, but it is an option. Okay, and then last settings here are just the check for updates. Um, 
update manually, load profile, save profile. Uh, this is just the profile is all the settings together. The equalizer presets are kind of different from that. And then uh, about. So there's really not much here past that. But I feel like it has a decent amount of settings. I really do like the sync to device feature. And again, this does apply to the Gen 3 and the Gen 4 headset. All right, thank you for listening.